I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star. Yo, what's up guys, it's Fuzz Green for a new video, and in today's video is going to be my thoughts, impressions, all that, about Call of Duty World War 2. Alright, this is going to be a little, you know, around, all around the place, but first things first, I want to apologize for not uploading, uh, I haven't uploaded a video in three weeks, I haven't streamed in like four days, um, but I have been streaming a lot on Twitch. I want to re revive that channel, uh, get it back up and going again. So I have been streaming on Twitch a lot. So if you want to continue watching my streams, I will be doing streams every now and then on YouTube. But for the majority of the time, for the next month or so, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch again. So link down in the description, like always. So first things first, we're going to stream on Twitch and all that. Uh, sorry about not uploading. I haven't streamed in a couple days. I haven't uploaded in three weeks, so this is gonna be an upload. I'm gonna start uploading more since Call of Duty World War Two is out. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Just it has its issues and all of that. So let's get into it. All right. So number one thing, it is the launch weekend. Not launch weekend, but like the first launch at midnight release and all that. I have it pre-ordered digitally. Stayed up all night, all day, waiting for this to come out. Midnight hits. Boom. Get on it. You can't get on the servers. It's down. So, the game went down for about three and a half, maybe four hours on launch night. I did not get to play. I just went straight to sleep. I said, screw it, and went to bed. So, that's what happened launch night. It was terrible. The worst, in my opinion, the worst Call of Duty launch weekend, launch night, all of that in history. It was just terrible, in my opinion. So, it, it, was, it was bad, dude. Like, disgustingly bad. So, yeah, it... it I tried getting on and I'm like, all right, let's go get on it. Let's me on getting headquarters. I'm like, oh, this is nice. And then I, I just get logged off and actually it all went to crap. Also, a little bit, little bit about this gameplay. Go 18 and 0. August stop cannon. Uh, just using like the STG, I think. I was getting a gold this game, something like that. I don't know. I totally forgot. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty much a little bit about the gameplay. Alright, so, the second thing. Uh, the guns in the game. The boy, they nerfed it. It was so overpowered. So now, we have the Type 100 is still really overpowered if you have the attachments on it. STG overpowered, they nerfed it, I believe. But it's still really good. Um, Grease Gun, really good. PPSH, really good. A lot of the guns in this game, excuse me, a lot of the guns in this game are really overpowered, they're really good, and you just can't beat them. But thankfully, there's no, no more of that flaming shotgun bullcrap like it was in the beta. It was so much of that stuff in the beta. And in the full game now, it's really not that much. So it's, I like it now. Uh, so I can't really complain about the shotguns because I don't get into a lot of lobbies with a bunch of shotgun users who try and camp and blow people's brains out with shotgun with all that stuff. So another thing of the guns and score streaks, just and uh, it's just really hard to uh, the score streaks in this game. The highest score streaks besides paratroopers are so bad. Like, carpet bombing is so bad, um, ball turret gunner, that's good, but it has a lot of recoil when you shoot it, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, I mean, don't hate on me, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not, I have no clue if it's supposed to, you know, have all that kick when you shoot. It's so, it's so hard to control too, so, also, uh, paratroopers, they're overpowered, they 
So I got shrieked on once, and uh, he got paratroopers out of a care package. I got jump shotted and then drop shotted by a paratrooper. Like the paratroopers in this game drop shot and jump shot. Like it's crazy. Like in the beta they were garbage, and they buffed it to the max in this game. It, it, it's so overpowered, dude. I don't, I don't know what to do against them. Also, the CTF time. Woo you pub stompers who think CTF is the way to go to drop one nuke, dude. You guys are probably more cringy than me if you think CTF is the best pub stomping game mode. So, in every Call of Duty, nobody has ever gone into CTF to get nukes. It's not like that. They only play CTF in this game because it's so long. If you can't, if you can't do it in Dom, TDM, Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, and all that, please don't go and capture the flag and go for one nuke. I am certain you guys can go into TDM, Dom, Hardpoint, Kill Confirmed, and all those game modes and drop a nuke with no problem. You just want to go into CTF and get high streaks and make the game go and last longer. Please don't do that. It's not, it's not fun. Like, teams won't accept you. And, by far, I hate it. I don't want to watch gameplays like that. But, the dude who dropped the quad, Vicious, and captured the flag, I respect that, man. Like, props to him, dude. I couldn't have done that. So, I'm not going to be the person to go out and start playing some freaking CTF and all that for gameplays. It, it's not happening. You won't see me on it. But, uh, I got more to talk about, but the game's over. Crap. Alright, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. I may make another video about this. Anyways, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and, uh, peace out, guys.